Hello parents and welcome to the high school. This is Mr. Rundo and this is academic biology. I'll have your son or daughter in biology every single day for one full class period and then another 20 minute class period. I'm super excited for another school year. I'm uh, delighted to have students back in person and I'm looking forward to working through all the um, problems that COVID has brought us uh, to make it a wonderful, memorable, uh, exciting, and educational year full of successes for your son or daughter. And there's so much I want to share with you. This is my 21st year at Brexford Broadview Heights High School. Uh, for all 21 years, I've taught this uh, course that your son or daughter's in, academic biology, uh, most years having two sections. Uh, that's me in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, that puppy is a recent acquisition. I'll tell the story to your sons or daughters in class. Uh, it's a neat story. And uh, right, those are my kids, Ella and LJ. When you have a parent that is a biology teacher and you're locked at home for months, your dad makes you grow plants and test your ability to keep them alive. But it's been a, a fun experiment for them. Uh, my wife is uh, Jessica, and I will bring lots of stories about her and her medical field. Uh, and my kids into the classroom. I believe very much so that we learn by um, hearing about real life experiences. So I try to incorporate uh, my life and uh, my experiences with uh, within the classroom so that uh, it will propagate student learning. On the bottom there, that's a DNA double helix, one of my uh, most favorite topics to cover in class. Course content. Uh, we will be using uh, the Miller and Levine bio book. Uh, I believe it to be the best in, uh, available. Um, it's widely used across the country and worldwide. An excellent publisher. We'll cover these topics, um, major topics, and there's a good number of minor ones as well. And then we uh, will supplement with a variety of hands-on lab experiences to reinforce the topics that are covered in class. In terms of academics, your son or daughter is about to experience um, quite a, a large jump academically from their freshman physical science class, both in terms of content um, and the academic demands that will be on them. Uh, we focus on preparing them for an end of course exam, um, and we pride ourselves uh, as a department and school in students doing very well on that exam. Additional ancillaries for student use will include a course textbook. We don't have one per student within the classroom, but students can sign one out of the Media Center for long-term use. All students will be issued an online textbook that they could access from any uh, remote device. Uh, the one-stop shop this year will be the Google Classroom. It will have all their assignments listed out. I'm also trying to include audio lectures for every single day in case students miss or they're remote. And there'll be a number of additional reinforcement tools available for them, including study guides and perhaps assignments on platforms of Edulastic, Edpuzzle, Khan Academy, and others. I uh, like to run a classroom that's got a lot of life in it. So uh, when students enter the room, they'll see uh, hissing cockroaches and a snake and fish, and they will see um, a greenhouse full of plants. And this particular tank, uh, I really enjoy. It's the guppy tank, and students uh, all year will be interested in watching um, the guppies grow, have babies, and then the cycle of life continues all over again. So you might ask, with this crazy coronavirus wreaking havoc on our daily activities, what are we going to do with a classroom that is hybrid? And the answer is we're going to do uh, everything that we can do to make it the same experience that students would otherwise uh, have. So uh, just about every single day, there'll be new material, new content presented to students, whether they're in person or remote. And then the students that are in person will supplement with hands-on lab experiences, just like we would if everyone was here. For students that are remote, uh, they'll do reinforcing formatives uh, using some of those platforms that I went over with you. Regardless, there will be a continued focus on the end of course exam, of which our students here at the high school have been very, very successful with. 
this is the very problem uh, that we're dealing with. And um, I think it's awesome that biology will allow a course to go over the very uh, problem that has brought us all here. So we'll study coronavirus and uh, maybe look at some articles and updates uh, with it, and even some imaging of it, not necessarily in the classroom, but uh, through some remote means. On the bottom left, if we get to it this year, I'd love to. Uh, the year culminates with the dissection of the fetal pig. And here on the right, you see uh, some students from last year uh, doing a rather high-end, uh, pretty neat uh, DNA fingerprinting lab uh, to really um, give students a wonderful, real-world, hands-on experience. Moms and dads, our intent here at the high school is to do all this while adhering to a safe work environment where education and safety will be a paramount focus. I look forward to working with your sons and daughters this year, and I'm looking forward to uh, returning in person to the high school. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for your time.